Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Ugh. We're finishing the Card Queen side quest today. <sighs> this... Ugh. So, the Card Queen, last time we talked to her, wanted the Alexander card in order to make a brand new card. Now, there's only two cards left that you have to give to the card queen in the side quest, and most people are like, right now, like, what are you talking about? There's three! A lot of people think that you actually have to give up um, the sacred card in order to get the Irvin card, but that's actually false. Uh, I'll explain that when it happens, but the only two cards that we have to lose now are the Alexander card and the Doom Train card. Now, the first one is, we're going to trade off the Alexander card in order to get... Thank God she went to Blom, because I swear it took me five times to get that bitch to move. Fifteen minutes. Ugh. But there's something worse. Now, the uh, Alexander card creates the Doom Train card, and the Doom Train card creates the Phoenix card. And you're like... The fuck's a phoenix? We never encountered a phoenix. Well, earlier on, when we did the um, Shumi side quest, we actually got what's called a phoenix pinion. And the phoenix pinion actually creates the summon phoenix. So, it's a special GF, but it's a one-time only use, and gives you the ability of revival. But like I said, one-time use. Alright. And now... Off the timber! Okay. Oh yeah, this guy, every once in a while, if you ever know in your party, will talk to you and actually give you a random item. Just wanted to show that off, because I didn't show it off before. Stupid prick. She's my lady now! Anyways, now we're gonna head off to the pub. And this guy is such a dick that I just want to say... FUCK THIS GUY! Okay guys, I wasn't lying when I said fuck this guy because of the card game. Let's look at this. Right now, we are at 20 minutes and 48 seconds in. Now, let's look at the timeline. Why the fuck am I playing cards for f that long? Well, you see, about somewhere up to about 50 minutes in, the bastard finally placed a goddamn card. Fuck him! <sighs> I hate this guy. This is just a few matches that I had to play. I was sitting here for 40 minutes trying to get the card! <laughs> I hate my life! Why? Why did you do this? Fuck you! Why can't you just play your fucking Doom Train card? This is the sad fact of somebody that's trying to be a completionist. I basically had to kill myself to get this card. <laughs> I hate you. You can burn in hell. Bartender owner. Fuck ye. <laughs> I, I honestly hate this guy. Because everybody else gives their cards within maybe three or four games. This bastard took over 20. <laughs> I, I absolutely despise him. I hope he burns in a fire. Him and his entire family even though he's artificial intelligence. Many matches later. <sighs> Wait for it. There it is! And now it's mine. Let's go to Blom. <sighs> Alright. 
So now that we got the Doom Train card, we can trade off the Doom Train card in order to create a new card. I don't want to give this card up. It took too damn long to get it. Too goddamn long. <sighs> but I have to complete the side quest to get all the cards. <sighs> It's... it's over. It's... Uh, thank God you're going to doll first time. Back and doll it. <laughs> I hate... hate this side quest because of that douche now. I had no problem with this side quest before, besides this bitch moving to the certain regions that you want to, it didn't take that long. And now the Phoenix card is an SR, whatever. But honestly, that whole entire ordeal made this footage over an hour and 30 minutes long. It's... I took an hour and 30 minutes and compressed it into about 10 minute video. I had a lot of editing. It took me two hours. Fuck that guy. Ah, I'm, I'm just in a bad mood because of the douche. Yes, nothing's here as well. Ugh, at least I'm done here. To FH! Yeah. And it's time to be reunited with a favorite card that I had to sacrifice to get the Renault card way back in this too. But at least this bastard has it. So the same team as always, or am I trying to switch it up? No, I miss Zell. I was just like, where the hell is Zell? They have a sacred and ultimate weapon. <gasps> it's a freak! Welcome back, old friend! And he's back in our party! Yay! Finally! It took forever to get him back, but... At least I got him again. Yes, and open rule spread. Uh, open rule, I, I didn't really explain before. I don't really explain too many rules, but... Open just allows me to see people's hands. That's the only reason why I wanted it to spread. So I can actually see people when they play cards. So I don't have to be blindsided by something too powerful and go like, Well, fuck, I lost. Yes, I want to play cards. So these two people up here actually have the last rare cards in the FH in almost the entire world. After we defeat these two guys, there's only three rare cards left in the entire game. So we're almost done. No, I don't want Siren, I want Sacred and Afreet. Thank you. There it is. What's Quaddle? Welcome to the party. Whew. All right, and now we gotta verse his wife, and then we can get the Irvin card, which a lot of people think you have to sacrifice Sacred for. It's not true. I played her, I never lost the Sacred card once, and I come up to her, and on the first time that I play her, she has the Irvin card. So for everybody who thinks the card queen side quest, you need to sacrifice the sacred card in order for her artist father to create a new card, that is a lie. The Irvin card exists here, as you can see. And now I have obtained it. <sighs> and with that, that is the end of the card queen side quest. There are no more card queen events that you have to do, and everything is completed. So next part, since we're done with side quests, we are going to be heading to S-Star to actually continue on the plot and actually get the last of the cards, because the last three cards are in S-Star, surprisingly enough. So that's convenient, I guess. But as you can see, no more cards. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I think I've had enough triple triad for a lifetime, and uh, again, fuck that guy, he can eat a dick. But next time we're going to ask Star to continue plot and get the final three cards in the game. But as always, thank you all for watching everyone, I'll see you guys next time. And if you have to get the Doom Train card, just, just look away, just say, the side quest isn't worth it. See you guys next time. And fuck that guy. <laughs>